For years, Umuamua was just a name, a strange footnote in astronomy, a ghostly visitor that baffled science and then vanished into the dark. First spotted in 2017 slicing through our solar system, it moved too fast, spun too oddly, and lacked any tail or emission to explain its trajectory. It accelerated as it left. It broke every rule. And just as quickly as it arrived, it disappeared. The theories were endless. Comet, asteroid, interstellar shard, alien probe. But eventually, interest faded. Until now. Because something has happened. Something no one can explain. A signal, faint but deliberate, has been received from the exact region where Oumuamua should be, had it continued on its course. A pulse, a pattern, a transmission, and with it, a chilling implication. Oumuamua didn't just pass through, it was watching, and now it may be coming back, but it's not alone. When astronomers first detected Oumuamua at the Pan Stars Observatory in Hawaii, it was unlike anything they had ever seen. It wasn't just its path, it was hyperbolic, meaning it came from outside our solar system and would never return, but also its form, which defied categorization. It was long and thin, like a metallic shard, or perhaps flat like a solar sail. Its rotation was chaotic, its light signature inconsistent, and it lacked any visible gases or dust usually found in comets. Even stranger, as it exited the solar system, it appeared to speed up, subtly but undeniably, without any known mechanism. No outgassing, no gravitational slingshot. It just moved. Some suggested it was pushed by sunlight pressure. Others proposed that it wasn't a natural object at all. But before a consensus could form, Oumuamua was gone. It slipped past us, beyond the reach of our telescopes, leaving only confusion in its wake. But what no one expected was that years later, its story would return, not as a sighting, but as a voice. One that no longer whispered, but spoke. Years after Oumuamua disappeared into the darkness, radio observatories continued listening, mostly out of habit, mostly expecting nothing. And for years, they were right. Silence. Until, without warning, a burst of structured radio waves pierced through the static. Not a random burst, not cosmic noise. A signal, faint, rhythmic, precise. At first, it was dismissed as interference, perhaps a military transmission, a satellite glitch. But then came the triangulation. The origin of the signal matched Oumuamua's projected path almost perfectly, down to the fraction of a degree. It was coming from deep space, no closer, no farther. Just exactly where Oumuamua should be if it had kept moving. But this was not an echo. The frequency was unlike any used by Earth technology. And the pattern, it was repeating, artificial, purposeful. It wasn't calling for help. It wasn't asking to be found. It was more like a trigger, a message not meant to reach us, but one that did. And suddenly the idea that Oumuamua had turned, or that it was turning its attention, was no longer science fiction. It was a terrifying possibility. Once verified, the signal was encrypted, dissected, and sent to the deepest levels of analysis at NASA and beyond. What they discovered broke the boundaries of known science. The transmission wasn't noise, it contained embedded data, a structure, a pulse pattern that echoed prime numbers, mathematical constants, and waveform spikes that, to some, resembled neurological activity. But the most disturbing element wasn't the math, it was the mimicry. Deep within the signal was an altered audio sequence, an eerie distortion of the greeting we had sent aboard the Voyager Golden Record, Hello from the Children of Planet Earth. Played back at a lower frequency, twisted by time and compression, but undeniably there. Not only had someone heard our signal, they responded. Or maybe, just maybe, they were mimicking it. Some theorized the signal was a handshake, others, a mirror. But what was clear to every expert who reviewed the waveform was that it was intentional, and it carried the weight not just of intelligence, but of memory. Something had remembered us, something far from human, but impossibly familiar. As attention turned back to Oumuamua's path, telescopes across the globe began to focus on that dark strip of space where the signal originated. Infrared scans, radio sweeps, and deep field imaging were launched in unison. 
and what came back wasn't comforting. A faint thermal signature, invisible to optical telescopes, began to appear in the data. It wasn't a perfect match to Oumuamua's original readings. It was smaller, colder, but it was following a mirrored trajectory. Same speed, same alignment, almost like a companion or a shadow. It emitted no light, reflected no visible radiation, but it moved, and with it came a horrifying question. If Oumuamua was never alone, what else passed through our system unnoticed? Was this new object a scout, a receiver, or perhaps a relay meant to transmit the signal deeper into the galaxy? Suddenly, Oumuamua was no longer the anomaly. It was just the first piece of something larger, something moving, something coordinated, and worst of all, something still watching. Just as the scientific community struggled to analyze the first signal, something even more unexpected happened, a second transmission. But this one wasn't identical. It came from a slightly different region of space, just a few degrees off the trajectory of the original Oumuamua path. And this time, it wasn't just a pulse or a pattern, it was modulated. The signal included varying frequencies, amplitudes, and timing, forming a kind of multi-layered data stream far more advanced than the first. At first, researchers believed it might be unrelated, perhaps a reflection or a terrestrial anomaly. But when the two signals were overlaid using a recursive Fourier transform, they fit together like puzzle pieces, forming a larger pattern that had gone unnoticed until now. It was as if the first signal was incomplete, waiting for a second half. And now, with both pieces together, the structure that emerged was no longer a simple echo of humanity's golden record. It was a map, not a star map as many expected, but a temporal one. A series of events encoded in prime intervals, aligned with solar system milestones, Jupiter's magnetic bursts, Saturn's auroras, Earth's own seismic activity. The implication? Whoever or whatever sent this signal not only knew where we are, they knew when we were listening. In response to the growing mystery, archival observatories were scoured for historical data, looking for anything that might have been missed, overlooked, or misclassified. What analysts found was staggering. Buried in data sets dating back over a decade, faint anomalies matching Oumuamua's infrared signature were discovered in multiple sectors of the sky, years before its official detection in 2017. Some were single-frame shadows, Others were odd motion tracks dismissed at the time as software glitches or cosmic ray interference. But when filtered through the same AI models now used to track deep space objects, these traces lined up in a way no one could deny. There were other Oumuamua-like objects, at least three more, all following hyperbolic or near-hyperbolic paths, all tumbling without emissions, all passing undetected through the outer edges of our solar system, and none of them were ever reported. Whether out of oversight or deliberate redaction, these objects came and went in silence, until now. And with the timing of the second signal, researchers began to ask, had these others already sent messages too? Were we just too primitive then to decode them? As interest around Oumuamua reignited, so did the response from global institutions. Suddenly, open source telescope data began to disappear. Servers hosting thermal imaging archives were taken offline. Research forums once buzzing with excitement now sat in eerie silence as key contributors vanished from the discussions. Whistleblowers from within two major observatories revealed internal memos advising researchers to pause all outbound analysis requests and to report all anomalous signal data to internal review teams. The language was vague, the tone was not. Something or someone was trying to control the narrative. And it wasn't just the public being kept in the dark. Private astronomers began reporting sudden denials on telescope scheduling and unexplained failures in tracking systems when pointed at Oumuamua's last known coordinates. It was clear this was no longer just a scientific curiosity. This had become a matter of control, of containment, and perhaps of fear. Because if the signals were real, and if multiple objects had already passed through, then the question wasn't if we've been visited. It was how many times we failed to notice. Amid the silence and suppression, one final revelation slipped through. 
A leaked data packet from a research facility in Chile contained a projection model, an animation mapping the combined trajectories of Oumuamua and the second infrared object. At first glance, they seemed to diverge, drifting into deep space in opposing directions. But when the solar system's motion was accounted for, its movement around the galactic center, those paths began to converge. Not now, not soon. But in the distant future, their trajectories aligned not with a star or black hole, but with a region of the galaxy known for its gravitational irregularities. An area devoid of stellar light, dense with radio noise, and suspiciously avoided by major survey missions. Some believe this zone is a natural dead spot. Others suggest it might be a hub, a kind of cosmic junction point far beyond our reach or understanding. And according to the leaked model, Oumuamua and its companion are heading straight toward it, slowly, deliberately, as if answering a call or delivering a report. And the most chilling part? If these objects were sent here once, they could be sent again. Oumuamua entered our solar system without a sound, slipped past our defenses unnoticed, and left behind a mystery that no equation or telescope could fully explain. We thought it was a rock. We hoped it was a comet. We feared it might be a probe. But now, with signals decoded, trajectories matched and silence enforced, one truth has become impossible to ignore. Oumuamua didn't just visit us. It left a mark, a message, a map, and it wasn't alone. The second signal, the shadow object, the historical anomalies buried in forgotten data, all of it converges into one unsettling conclusion. Oumuamua may have been part of a greater network, a system of watchers, travelers, or messengers passing through undetected, silently mapping our worlds, our transmissions, our readiness. For decades, we believed we were listening for voices among the stars. But now it seems we were the ones being recorded. The question is no longer, what is Oumuamua? It's what sent it. And perhaps more disturbingly, what happens now that we've responded? Because if Oumuamua was a scout, then a reply might already be on its way. And if the others have already passed through, undetected, how many more are watching now? Let us know what you believe. Was this an interstellar reconnaissance? A long-awaited hello? Or something far more complex? An ancient algorithm testing civilizations for signals of intelligence? Drop your theory in the comments. And if this story made you look up at the stars just a little differently tonight, subscribe.